the current year of our Lord. <laughs> the terrifying place. Harada is everywhere. We must traverse slowly. Quietly. Like a cool gust of wind. Hmm. Brandar has always thought of himself as sort of a, a gust of wind. A shadow in the night. Enough. That'll do nicely. Perhaps I can find some more goodies. Poison of paralysis, yes. This is what I'm seeking. Ah, but I seem to have a bit too many poisons. Ah. Mm. I shall get rid of this black bow. So that we might press on. Silver battle axe, I do hate to leave you. But so much weight. Mm. And now we are finding the, uh... The big stash, so to say. If I bring back a weapon from another plane, I think it should be significantly more powerful. Hmm. What is this? Desolate well. I don't like it one bit. Oh, don't look over here, buddy. Oh. Nope. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> Oh, my aim seems to be just a little bit off. Oh, hello, friend. You don't spot me either. What, what is wrong with these scamps? They have lived in the dark too long. Brandar does cover his fur with a bit of dirt now and then. Oh, my. Not looking forward to that. Hmm. Doesn't seem I've alerted anyone by activating the lift. Alright, come down to Brandar. We shall see what happens. Is that an Aetronarch? Aetronarchs are, uh... The mercenaries. They travel from plane to plane, serving whoever's pay is highest. Hmm, can I get from here? Go like this. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Alright. Sneaky time. Oh, it is not an Atron Arc. Simply a... A flaming human. I think it is human. It might be a murder of some kind. But uh, the short shape of the body lets me know it's probably human. Ah, quite foul, friends. I don't want to meet the creature who did this. Is that him? Just there? Oh. We must tread carefully, friends. Oh my. It is like a, a sickening carousel. I did have one when I was young. It was covered in things like fish bones and, you know, wheels, flags, fun things like this. Uh, it is not a person. It is a broad seer. And a scamp. I don't think anything we meet in this realm should be a person. Aside from ourselves, perhaps. And the poor soldiers who were paid to come in here. Ah. Disgusting. They're punished. What does it mean, friends? Pardon me. It's just bones, as I thought. Hmm. Resist shock. Some gold coins. I look in the other? Just a bit of gold. Well, I suppose I did that in the right order, if anything was to happen. I don't think there is anyone here. 
Ah. The blood fountain heals my wounds. But has some of the Daedric power gotten into me? Uh, what to think, friends? I suppose this is not the place that we are supposed to be. But perhaps we are getting closer. This is simply one of the towers. One of many that I saw. Let's be careful going down on this one. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Thanks so much. And I'm off. Hmm. Back to the sump of misery. Perhaps it is the way. <sighs> I don't like strange lands. Hostile strange lands at that. Perhaps we are done here? Oh, I heard some Harada come by my ear. Hmm. Was this the tower that I ventured into? I should think so. Hmm. Should have had a look at the top, but it was not possible. Scale walls of sheer stone? Ah, even Brandar cannot do it. I did know of a Khajiit whose claws were sharp enough. But, as expected, putting such wear on them meant that by the time he was 40 he was uh, having to eat pre-chewed meat. It was quite sad. Hmm. I'm unsure. I suppose another sump could be the answer. Should I be heading towards fire? Ah, Harada, from the back. He likes it. Oh, yes. And we have been this way before, I fear. Hmm. Up? Up? Just a little up. My. Where does it start? Where does it end? I should have asked that fellow to come with me. Surely he had more information than me. Ah. I should have stopped him myself. Mm. Uh. That's hurtful. Oh. oh, yes. Can we rest for just a minute? Ah. Seems we've been at it all night, friends. I believe. My internal clock tells me I'm a bit sleepy. But we must carry on. Who knows what tortures are awaiting the, the poor souls who were caught. And I would like to save many. I would have preferred if Martin believed me and came along. But unfortunately... I don't know that I would believe me either. People have somewhat of a distrust of Khajiits, which I suppose makes sense in a way. We've always been a bit uh, tribalistic, but we don't take advantage, or at least not undo advantage, of outsiders. If there is any uh, exorbitant costs or things like this from a Khajiit merchant, Ah, uh, you can consider it a uh, payment for the experience we suffer every single day. Mm -hmm. I think it is only fair. I hear in Skyrim you are not even allowed to enter the cities. Which will uh, make it quite difficult for Brandar to find some Nord friends and family of the people he met in Morrowind. But perhaps I can find a way. Perhaps if I learn some magic tricks, just uh, peel my fur back for just a minute. There is more than one way to skin a cat. 
That is the truth. Oh my. This is what we were looking for. Ah. Are you ready, friends? The blood feast. Oh my. There was blood fountains. Now a blood feast. Magicka essence in the walls. Oh my. Did that hit him? <laughs> I let that one go very early on accident. Ah, restored Magicka. But now I've used that one. I should like to save the other. Ah, uh, as I may have mentioned, friends, if there's only scamps in here, I guess I can talk a little bit more. <laughs> there's many different types of Khajiit. Some are tiny house cats, some are big battle cats, some do look like humans. I'm unsure if I told you that before. But it is true, depending on the phase of the moon they were born under. So if I can find a magical way to tap into that, I'm thinking perhaps I could slink around Skyrim undetected as a Khajiit. Hmm. Rending halls. I don't like the sound of this. Hmm. At least it's not halls of rending. Maybe they're just, uh, trying to make a play in here. Rendering the play together. Yes, that it's now techni technical jargon that Brandar has coined in the current year of our lord. <laughs> I hear something. Citadel Hall door. Oh. Surely this is not a friendly fellow. He does have somewhat of a human shape. Oh, but he did kill the scamps, I believe. Hmm. Friend or foe? Fall, 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 fall. Yeah. Oh, luckily he was so weak due to the scamp. Oh, I think I've heard of this creature before. Horns from the head, the armor, the mace. Yes, Dramoras. Hmm, a lesser form of Daedra. Ah, <sighs> this is not a good place. Luckily, we were able to best that fellow, but it might have been simply out of luck. Oh, don't want to go back to the blood feast. Or do I? I'm so unsure where I'm headed, wandering into the depths of hell. Looking for a soldier who probably met his end already. And there's a fool, I tell you. I think that this blade might come down. No. It is just for decoration. And now we are back to the blood feast. What is all this then? don't like it. Not one bit. It goes around in a big circle. No. It goes up. Ah. Quite a clever design. And another Dramora just ahead. Well enough. We shall sort him out. Oh, my bow. Yes, I threw the old one away. It was, uh, getting a little dingy. Oh, don't move, fellow. Ah, oh, we did, we got him. Catch that arrow back. Don't need to waste. Ah, what do you have for me, friend? 
Minor wound, yes, I know this spell. Perhaps if I used it enough, I should uh, learn it, add it to my arsenal. Oh, there's such a way to go up, friends. Corridors of dark salvation. I don't like it. Why are all of the signs so scary? And why are they written in common? No matter. At least I can somewhat keep track of where I am. Although I could probably memorize the runes as well. Hello, buddy. That's it. That's it. Lay down. I'm sensing something to the left. Hmm. What is this? Let's kill the scamp, I suppose. Whoop! Oh! Oh! Too distracted. But we did get him. I suppose that's the important thing. Oh my. I don't like this. I just want to go home. Perhaps I could tell you another little story, friends. If you would find that pleasing. Hmm. This is an old joke about uh, some yellow-haired Nordic women that is sometimes told by Khajiit. Yes, it has made it all the way down to elsewhere, but maybe now is a good time to share with you, hmm? So, I believe I heard this story on good authority from a good and honest friend whose friend was witness to the incident. I do truly believe it, that it happened, as fantastical as it may seem. My friend's friend Taron was visiting the elsewhere city-state of Rivenhold during a hot summer and went to the marketplace there. If you've never been to Riverhold, the marketplace is very crowded, much more than incomparably sized city-states. People from the countryside flock to the marketplace daily in their wagons and carriages. Taron was passing one such carriage and noticed that the sole occupant was a woman, seated with her eyes closed and her hands behind her head. In odd sight, to be sure, but he assumed she must be sleeping, so Taryn continued on. A little while later, after Taryn had finished shopping in the marketplace, he passed the same carriage. The woman was still sitting in it. Her eyes were open now, but her hands were still behind her head. Are you alright, my lady? he asked. An arrow shot me in the head, and I'm holding my brains in, came the woman's reply. Taryn did not know what to do. He ran into the marketplace and literally bumped into a healer and his night companion. They were good people and agreed to help. The carriage door had been torn off its hinges as the lady locked it and feared to move to unlock it. What they found when they could finally get in the carriage was this. The woman was holding a lump of barley dough to the back of her head with her hands. Apparently, in the heat of the day, a jar of barley dough had exploded with the twang of an arrow shot and struck the woman in the back of the head. When she reached back to feel what had hit her there, she felt the dough and reasoned that she was feeling her own brains. <laughs> a bit gory, I think. It reminds me of a fall festival, you know. Sometimes your mom would... Uh, Put some bread dough in a bowl. This is brains, you know. And uh, the children have a good time, you know. Stick your paws in there, get a little squeamish. Oh, yes. The memories. But I do hope that has increased the levity for you, friends. Ah, so, wasn't that a nice place to stop for story time, friends? <laughs> I didn't actually mean to pick this location as such. But, it will do. I wanted to uh, inject some levity, perhaps, into this plane. Perhaps there is some plane of oblivion that is full of humor. But this does not seem to be the one. I did think there was writing on that wall. Should we look at it from the other side again? Hmm. It does seem like it. But not so. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.